Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I have a Chardonnay in front of me today. It's Wakefield St Andrews Chardonnay uh, from the Clare Valley. First planted 1892. I don't know whether that means the Chardonnay was first planted in 1892. I don't think so. Uh, but this one, this particular vintage is 2013. Let's give it a whirl. Well, a toasty oak is one of the first things I notice, and you could probably have said the same about uh, a lot of Australian Chardonnays in the last 30 years. Uh, the difference with the Chardonnays that are being made now is that the fruit behind that oak is a little bit lither and sleeker uh, compared with the slightly blobby stuff that was uh, par for the course in the 1990s. So here it's on that lime uh, maybe the melon character rather than the out and out voluptuous pineapple chunk. Um, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure how long it's been in oak, um, doesn't say here, but uh, we're in August 2014 here, so say it's been in oak for 10 months, uh, it won't have, uh, it, 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 it's, it, yeah, it'll have been out a fair few months, so, uh, but it's still, it still feels like the oak needs a little bit of time to calm down, but it also feels like the wine behind is a little bit uh, tight and uh, needs to, um, needs to expand, so let's give it a bit more swirling and see whether it expands. And it is slowly uncurling. Um, the oak stays there, um, uh, but then the, the fruit behind is strange. There's a rich bit and there's a precise bit. So there's the rich bit that's giving um, things like the cashews, uh, maybe, yeah, that melon edge, and then this uh, more, more precise citrus, uh, citrus edge. I like it. I um, just wonder whether uh, I will like it more. Uh, I'm, I'm trying it with some friends later on, so uh, in about uh, two, two or three hours. So I will report back on how it's uh, how it's faring. Uh, I let's have a look at the alcohol. Um, I'm, 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 I'm umming and ahhing about it. I can't see the alcohol. It's got a sticker all over the top of it. Uh, blah, blah. I'll report back on what the alcohol is. Um, it should say somewhere on this label, but uh, no, I can't see just at the moment. Um, uh, the flavours I'm, I'm left with uh, do uh, aren't anything like big blobby or overripe. Uh, they're, they're quite subtle. Um, and yes, I just, just, my just concern is that oak is just a little bit on that... Uh, poking out a little bit more. I'd almost have preferred them to use uh, slightly older oak and maybe kept it in that oak for a little bit longer, but um, it, the wine is tasty uh, and uh, I've got a feeling that the people I'm tasting it with tonight, uh, they're gonna love it. Um, probably a little bit more than me than I love it at the moment, but uh, I'll, as I say, I will report back. See you soon.